Is your pet safe in your own backyard? Experts say millions of pets are stolen each year right out from under their owners' noses. Today happens to be Pet Theft Awareness Day. And Susan Copen's been looking into the business of stolen pets. She's here now with the story. I was surprised to hear how prevalent this is. Yeah, and it was not hard for me to find local cases of pets being stolen. It can be very lucrative for the people stealing these pets, and it's a crime that's easy to pull off. These are the faces of pets that have been stolen. Some have been returned to their owners. Others disappeared forever. There are millions of animals that are stolen every year. Krista Rose is an animal activist and founder of Last Chance for Animals. It happens everywhere in this country. It'll happen clear across from New York, Pennsylvania, all the way across to California. He says pets are stolen for many reasons. They become bait in dog fights. This Pomeranian was stolen and held for ransom. This Rottweiler was stolen from its backyard in Leechburg, Armstrong County, and sold on Craigslist for $50. And there are dogs like Ozzy. Investigators believe he was stolen and sold to a research lab. And the reason it's happening a lot is it's so lucrative. Congressman Mike Doyle has backed a bill that would help keep stolen pets out of the hands of researchers by requiring labs to obtain proof of where a pet came from before they buy it. People were going around and stealing dogs right out of people's yards and, and other methods, and, and they're selling them for the money. That's the part we want to stop. To protect your pets from thieves, animal activists say never leave them unattended outside. It's something that can happen fast. It doesn't take long. We wanted to see just how fast a dog could be stolen and if anyone would try to stop the crime. We asked Katie Letterman and her dog Eddie to be our guinea pigs. Stay right there, okay? We sent Katie into a coffee shop and left Eddie tied up outside. Then we had our intern walk up and walk away with Eddie. This woman sitting in the window sees the whole thing, but doesn't say a word. Why didn't you stand up and run outside and stop her from taking the dog? Honestly, I just didn't think it was being stolen. And these guys in the window, the dog napping happened right in front of them but they didn't do anything either. Sorry I didn't stop her, but <laughs> I didn't know. So we tried our experiment again. Katie went into a store and left Eddie outside alone. This time our dog napping intern met her match as an employee from a nearby store came to Eddie's aid. He's not the dog. I'm just taking him for a walk. Uh, the owner went in there. And the woman on the left grabbed Eddie's leash and wouldn't let go. Thank you, did the right thing. Thank God it wasn't real. <laughs> you are not going to let her take that dog. It's a truly terrifying thing for me to witness, and I'm really glad that my split-second response was the one that would help the dog. Taking your eyes off them for a split second is the quickest way to lose them. Experts say never leave pets tied up in front of a store alone in the backyard or in a car and make sure your pet has some sort some form of ID in case it is stolen. A collar can be taken off, but microchipping or tattooing your pet is a more permanent way to make sure it has ID. That was, that was a store owner who came forward and prevented one that of the, theft. One of the employees came running out of, the, yeah. out of the store. That and was then, heroic. And then the other lady, she just happened to be walking by, and she grabbed onto that leash, I and she was that. not letting go, which <laughs> was great. Your intern wasn't injured in any of this. No, no, no. <laughs> All right. So offering, you know, sometimes you see a free pet to a good home. You see a, an ad for something like that. Why isn't that a good idea? Yeah, a animal experts say that is not a good idea because people who are looking to steal pets, that's just an open invitation. They go, they get the free puppies to a good home, and then they Ooh. turn around and they sell them. They possibly sell oh. them to a lab or then try to sell them on Craigslist or another avenue to make a buck. So if you are going to give away your pet or you're giving away puppies, at least have a price attached to that. So mm. they're, they, someone can't just walk in and take them for free. Yeah. Wow. Good morning. Thank you, Susan. Pet, right. Pet Theft Awareness Day. Today. Spread the word. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> Susan, thanks.